time, uh, you know, I posted that. Um, that was, you know, the Second Amendment at the time was definitely a, you know, a hot topic. And, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, I didn't, the point of it wasn't to offend anybody. You know, as most of you guys know, I'm Cuban American and most of my family was run out of Cuba because of a brutal dictator. And it's terrible. You know, it's one of those things where I'll never get to meet some of my family members because of it. And it was one of those things where I was really touched at the time. And, you know, I saw it and I posted it and, you know, I had no intent to uh, offend anyone, but it was mostly just to state a point that a political point at the time that I believed in. That's baseball player J.D. Martinez defending his Instagram post he made in 2013. Of course he should. It's his right to free speech. And it actually comes on the tail end of a bunch of other incidents where people have unearthed tweets and posts from MLB players of their past. Now it does sort of show off a weird, bad trend, I guess. Somewhere out there is a sad person looking through People of Notes Twitter and word searching for things like Hitler or guns and the N-word. And the thing about somebody doing that to try to make an article to shame this person is kind of sad. Now, most of the stuff that gets uncovered is kind of overblown, but there are some things in here that are really hard to defend. Trey Turner is a shortstop for the Washington Nationals, and he'll be taking sensitivity training for these tweets he made in 2011 and 2012. Now, to me, these seem like obvious jokes, but it's 2018, and I'm afraid that doesn't matter anymore. Do you know Sean Newcomb, lefty from the Atlanta Braves? He says he didn't mean anything by these 2011 and 2012 tweets, and it is a little harder to tell here, but I would still have to say that he's probably joking in these. Pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers, Josh Hader. This is kind of a different story. The headline reads, Hader is an awful racist homophobic Twitter history. Pretty explosive. Now these two are the ones that they're calling sexist. This one they're calling homophobic. And this one they're calling racist. Now this is where it starts to get tricky. Josh Hader is only 24 and these tweets were made when he was like 16 or 17 years old. So it's kind of hard to tell like can you really come down that hard on a teenager for doing that especially now. And also the one that has the hard R at the end, that's actually lyrics from a song by the rapper Juicy J. So again, he's actually just quoting something there. I mean, I'm not offended by rap lyrics or people singing along or quoting to them, but come on, man, you can't be doing that. You got to know. Even at 17, I feel like you got to know, you got to put quotations or something like that around it. Also, when he says that he hates gays, I mean... I would hope that he's just joking there, like you gotta hope that he is, or else that's just stupid. But increasingly, you'll see young people of all races using the n-word, and not with the hard R, mind you, of course, and it's like people, they don't seem to care as much anymore about it, especially uh, rapper Tyler the Creator. He has mentioned several times that he doesn't care about using the word. Do you use the n-word? Yes. Now, that's an offensive word to, to some people, to many people. And how, in what terms do you use it? I don't know, man. See, like, people have to understand, I grew up in a different time to where Explain that to word me. is just a word. It has no effect, but it is a double standard because there's certain people who will get offended if someone who doesn't have the skin tone of me says it, like, which is really weird, you know? Like, then they're keeping the original meaning of that um, a lot. I don't know how to explain it. But everyone, I want to say, if you feel like you need to say these sorts of things online, hint, you probably shouldn't. Give it some context, give it some quotations. Uh, there are literally people sitting out there in a dim room, probably with a red light on them, crying, hoping they'll make money off of this sort of thing if they find you saying the wrong thing. Do you want to be confused with actual racists? I don't think so, so be careful. But the problem I sort of see here is these guys are baseball players. They're not politicians, they're not in a position to shape public policy or anything like that or make laws. So if you really don't like what they have to say, send a message to the team that say you don't approve of this or just stop watching it. Now I, what I want to know is do you care? Does it matter if they're a baseball player or not? Is it the same thing as LeBron James when people told him to shut up? Let a motherfucker know in the comments. Mother on that beat. Smash off in that porch like skirt. My nigga smoke push, no perk. If that puss got a bush, I'm like, no. 
Carry pussy bitch, shoot a tub that got hurts. I'm a six figure nigga.